Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video today about my experience at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. And I have just been trying to write a blog post about it, but it's like so much thoughts, so many thoughts obviously, about it are just swimming around in my head like I don't know if I can put it all into words yet, so I thought I'd just do a video talking about it. So. Um, basically, I had an awesome time, I loved it, so glad I went, because I'm, like, the best pop, the best part was just meeting all these other people who were doing exactly what I'm doing, like, from all around the world. That was just, like, so good, and I didn't even realize how much I needed that and how much I was, like, a fool for not you know, meeting those kinds of people earlier. And it was really great because like at the festival you just get in like in the fast track to like all the fruit locks and stuff. So like I met all these people in New York who are raw vegans and stuff and they're really cool people. And they host these like parties all the time. It's awesome. And also another really cool thing about that is since I gave up drinking for my fraternity lifestyle and I gave up eating out at restaurants okay it makes it really hard to socialize so like with my old friends too because I they're still awesome I still love them but I feel some of them I'm not sure but I just get this you know inkling in my head that they just don't really like understand why I'm doing this and I think it's just my insecurity but I feel like they think you know it's just for like vanity, like weight loss or something. It's like an eating disorder almost. But it's not. It's just like I think I've just always been interested in health. And it's cool because these people, like the Woodstock Fruit Festival, like no one drank, no one smoked the whole time. So everyone only ate raw fruits and vegetables. Like they had a lot of fun. But the way they were having fun was like sports and swimming and walking and just like talking instead of drinking like they had these um, bonfires every night and it was just really cool that like you looked around not one person was you know chugging a beer or something it's not like a people are just even drinking a beer I should say or you know there was a little sh 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 like cigarettes smoke or anything like that so it's just I'm like wow all these people don't need drugs to have fun like that's that kind of thing so that was really cool and I just feel like now maybe I'll find some friends who are more, who have similar values in the sense of they're interested in like improving at running, they're interested in nature, they understand like veganism, it's just like yeah I'm interested in similar things so it'll be really cool. And they're really like hippie and in a way that's really good because I'm less hippie but I guess in some ways I am but they're just very open-minded people and fun so it was cool I really enjoyed meeting everyone um then another really awesome thing was just seeing people who had who I like follow on YouTube and stuff who have been doing a 10 10 for years and like yes the legends are true like they glow okay like fully raw Christina and stuff I agree with what someone said she's even more pretty in person like she's just gorgeous and you know they're all glowing like their skin looks like the skin of a tiny like seven-year-old child like it's ridiculously soft and smooth and like chubby but not fat but just like good like baby skin okay and um yeah, and everyone had this thing called like what I called the fruity glow, which was like they looked like really tan. I think it's the orange skin you get actually from eating like a lot of fruits and vegetables. Like your skin starts looking tan, but it's really like an orange glow. And then they got, looked really red. They had this like fruity flush. So it was like really tan and then a red flush. And everyone had that. And everyone looked so young. Like people would just be like, how old are you? They'd be like, how old do you think I am? And, yeah. 
like one at, um we, there was a speed dating event and at first like all the ages were together and they're like all oh, the 25s and under like over there and then the guy I was sitting next to had to walk up and he was like oh like you must be raw vegan i thought you were under 25 i don't know if he was just flattering me but i think i kind of got the fruity glow there too so that was really cool just seeing all these you know perfect examples of health like for example mike arnstein the fruitarian i was like is this even real like he looks so childlike his skin is just like like his skin his face looks like a teenager and his body is like totally ripped it's ridiculous he has like a 10 pack and to say that <laughs> and there are a, a lot of very hot people there like hot guys hot girls just kidding um yeah so that was interesting yet at the same time i did notice something else some people were not and in a way it kind of like triggered something deep within my soul because i'm like okay wait a second like, I thought fraternism was, like, the holy grail. Like, you're supposed to look perfect like these people. So why don't, why doesn't everyone look perfect? Like, uh -oh. like maybe I'm doing this for nothing. Like, maybe, I, you know. So I guess I'm doing it. Well, okay, here's the other thing. I just kind of said that I was doing it to look perfect. It's not just looking perfect. Like, yes, that's a big draw. But after I got back from just this one week of eating fully raw, as you guys might know, um, if you're a fan, which you're probably not, I am a pole dancer. Well, that's my sport of choice. And when I got back on my pole, I was just like, bam, 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 like whipping out all these crazy tricks. I'm like, WTF? Like, what's happened to me? Like, I'm super athlete now. It's awesome. And it's the same thing that always happens when I go fully raw. It's just like, okay. For whatever reason, I just gained like a year, two year, three years, literally, of like fitness training in one week. So it's awesome. Another thing I noticed there, just being fully raw for the week, is I was smiling a lot more. It was very easy to smile. I don't know why. I felt a lot more energy. I never got tired. Um, you can just feel like the buzz. It's like your energy is like... Until you're like buzzing anyway so when I got back oh and one more thing weight loss the water weight bam you look like incredibly amazing when I got back I was just like looking at myself in the mirror I'm like this is what like I always wanted to look like and now I have it however that almost caused me like an eating disorder I have to admit because when I saw myself, like, with the water weight loss, I so wanted to, like, stay there. I'm just, like, I can't mess up. I can't eat cooked food. I have to stay 100% raw because, like, I look so good. And I know the second I eat anything with, like, salt in it is the water weight's going to come right back in. I just wanted to, like, have that body for, like, ever. But that, that, like, grasping onto that, like, wanting to be perfect I think that caused me like severe cravings when I, I really haven't like experienced cravings for like a year because I was doing more raw till four things so I just ate whenever I wanted you know I had cravings but because I was trying so hard to be 100% raw I started like going crazy basically and the other day I broke down I had some rice and I had some rice yesterday too but um because I was like, I'm making myself crazy trying to be perfect. Like I, Because even when I had gone 100% raw before, um, I never had like cravings like that. But it was just wanting that perfect body so much. It's kind of sad. I know, but yeah, just being honest. So, And the thing is, at the same time, it's not just that. Because like the athletic benefits are also awesome. And I want to keep that too. So it's like the struggle now because I see how much it helps me personally and I want to get there but then like that struggle causes like mental struggle. So I don't know what to do. And also another thing I notice is 
I don't know if it's the weight loss, but I just felt felt different. I felt so much like lighter and freer and more beautiful and just more like um more like a animal or something. Just I felt like I don't know, I just really liked the way I felt just walking around. Just I think it was like a lighter feeling. Like imagine you're like hundred pounds overweight, you just lose a hundred pounds. And of course this is probably like ten pounds of water weight I'm talking about, but I don't know, I just really like the feeling. So right now that's kind of I'm like thinking I should title this video, did the Woodstock Fruit Festival give me an eating disorder? Like <laughs> for clicks. But it kinda did. Because there's now this like even stronger desire to be 100% raw, yet at the same time I'm just like really missing my old raw till four ways cooked food. I'm just like, oh, raw till four, like it's a dream from another world, but I'm like, like as Doug Graham said, when you eat cooked food it's trying to, and you're trying to get somewhere, like you're trying to achieve a goal, like an athletic goal or body goal, I kind of feel like you shouldn't want that, but I do, I guess. But it's like you're taking a taxi, you know, backwards every time you eat cooked food. And although I know everyone doesn't believe that, for me, I've tried it like, you know, these 100% raw trials like a couple times. Now, I do feel that, you know, 100% raw does make a difference for me. I'm not 100% sold on that, but that is my hypothesis right now, and I feel I have some good evidence to support it. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to do, but despite all that, you know, mental anguish that I've been going through, just wondering whether it'd be 100% or not, and um, it was awesome because I just um, made so many friends. Now my brother, so enter the room, so I have to go.